Hello there, Brer here, pronouns they, them, and welcome to another draw with me. And before I get started, I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year, we all survived. <laughs> Happy 2024. And in this video, I actually wanted to talk to you about a few goals and things that I want to do in 2024 while I draw a cute little image celebrating 2024. So here we go. So as we start off the sketch, I just wanted to say the first thing that I've been working on doing this month is basically I've been trying to hold myself to more of a lacto-ovo-vegetarian month. To be honest, I am autistic and I have like touch sensitivity and a fun fact about me is that whenever I'm cooking meat, I wear gloves because I hate touching the texture of meat. So, <laughs> so in order to not have to put up with that again, or at least get used to not putting up with that for a while, and also to like reduce my carbon footprint a little bit, I've been reducing the amount of meat in my diet forcing myself to eat more veggies, try more fruits and veggies that I don't usually go for. I will admit, sometimes after a while, if I don't feel like cooking, I will, I really will just sit and like order fast food for a bit. And I, I've been getting myself out of that habit by like cutting out my McDonald's and Starbucks. Now I just want to try to cut down the amount of meat I eat for more health reasons and as I record this it's January 4th so I've been doing it for a couple of days now and I'm not gonna lie I've been feeling more energetic I've been able to get more tasks done and I've been able to focus a little bit better it feels a lot easier to stick to it this time now that I've found more foods that I actually enjoy instead of just forcing myself to eat vegetables all the time so I don't know maybe maybe this time it'll stick a little bit So another thing I wanted to talk about was basically my themes for 2024. I will admit my husband and I are fans of CBG Grey and instead of doing New Year's resolutions, we do New Year's themes. Last year my theme was more expression and focus and I feel like I got I feel like I achieved that a lot last year as I felt more comfortable with posting my artwork on social media, basically putting myself out there more often. But for 2024, my themes for this year are going to be rest and organization. One thing that I noticed about myself last year is although I will admit I was able to work on a lot of art and music and I'm proud of myself for that. The way I approached it was 
um, let's say hectic. It took a lot of energy out of me and had me burnt out for a while. So this year I'm going to focus on rest a little bit more often because even the close ones around me have noticed that I've been on the go and trying to basically work almost 24 7 and I shouldn't have to be like that I can't be running on fumes even though I am going to be incorporating more YouTube videos in my workflow I'm going to do it at a much more healthier pace than I usually do whereas I'm going to test out how to space out my uploads this month and see how long it takes me to like edit and finish a video and once I get a good handle on that I'm thinking about uploading once every two weeks and then trying to upload either some music or covers in between. Although I was able to work a lot last year and get a lot done, I did feel burnt out at the later point of the year and thankfully I spent most of December and November just like recuperating and like regaining my energy so now I'm filled with a new vigor but I also learned from that moment that I should make rest and self-care more of a priority in my life instead of just you know treating it as a treat if you need to hear this it's okay to take a rest it's okay to take a break even if you feel like you haven't got much done it, it's okay to like step back from things and just you know allow yourself to exist and live for a bit and I've been needing to hear that message for a while. I'm spreading that message on to you and hopefully we all get something from this. But yeah, 2024, definitely going to try to incorporate rest. So, the other theme that I had for the year of 2024 is the theme of organization. Now, I will admit I am not the cleanest person in existence. Um, I'm one of those people that try to keep an organized mess. It's kind of embarrassing admitting this, but I have to be you know i have to be kind of real about it <clears throat> i started on this theme a bit earlier last year because i 
needed an office to work in so I cleaned up and painted the spare room in, the, in my house and so far so good. It's nice to have all my art things in one area and now I feel that I'm better being organized physically but I want to kind of spread that to the rest of my life too. Like I will admit that I, I tend to lose digital files from time to time which includes my artwork so sometimes I don't have artwork to show because I lose it but this year it is something that I want to work on. I want to have my kitchen, living room, home, and life a bit more organized so that I don't have to constantly recount my steps to figure out where I put things. Before the video ends, I wanted to say thank you for tuning into my channel. Leave a comment below if you want to talk about any themes for the new year that you have. Um, if you have any requests or anything you want me to draw or any tutorials you want me to try to make, feel free to leave those in the comments too. If you liked me talking about themes in the new year or if you like this cute piece of art that I made, feel 